Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some more Game of Thrones. Episode 4 is out. Uh, it was out yesterday, I think, on the 26th of May um, on the PC. And as you can see, do the dead frighten you. Here we go. We're about to have a recap of what happened so far, I think. Uh, which is good, because I can't quite recall. And then we'll pick up where we go from there. Must say, I'm really enjoying this. Um, Total Games are always, always quite good, um, but Game of Thrones Total Games uh, is is just it's just really, really interesting. I must say, you know, and it links so well to the series as they always do. Um, there we go. <coughs> Previously on Game of Thrones, my father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. Because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the Free Folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> So, where do we go next, I wonder? I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. 
I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. Phew! There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or oh, he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible! Finn can't stand me! Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone! Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go! I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crustus. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No, but you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. Cheers, John. Down man, so keep your eyes open. <coughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Well, well, well. Sons of Winter. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> hmm. 
Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless um, you are afraid. Oh god. Of course, a man who has <coughs> really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. Well, I tried. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Yeah, she's probably right. Keep your mouth shut. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me? Asher Forrester. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your sellswords. Please, if I you... also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My sellswords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Well, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just sellswords. We're the best damn sellswords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. I don't think she wants to go to Marine. Fucking <coughs> bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. 
Well, it's well, going well. to be a long night. Apparently so. She's not going to be happy. What fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Best guess. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. <laughs> this is comfortable. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more. Uh oh. <coughs> Well, I guess we'll call it the end of the episode there. Pick it up again soon.